Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So me planning my evening meals and being prepared. For me, if I've got my evening meals planned and I know what I'm wanting um, for, the, for the meals ahead, um, A, it gives me that little bit of excitement that what I'm having for the week, only plan for five like evening meals uh, because obviously then there's flexibility. I'm not buying food um, which will either end up in the freezer or heaven forbid it ends up in the bin. I hate food waste. We always ask what everyone is fancying and then I write um, a menu of what it is. Um, so this week on the menu is chicken and gammon top hat pie and vegetables, gammon vegetables and Yorkshire puddings with stuffing and gravy, we've got cheeseburger pasta and garlic bread and then we have sausage mash vegetables and gravy and then we've got pita pizzas wedges and corn on the cob. So then what I do is and I write everything I need and then what I do is what I'm going to show you now is then I go on the hunt, hide and seek, um, throughout my kitchen to see if I've got them. If I'm running low on them, do I need to add that? Do I need to add it to the actual grand list of things? And um, if I do have it, I'll tick it so at the top it says chicken gammon top hat pie, and that's the ingredients I will need. Like even if it's just the vegetables to go with it, then I will tick it. Obviously, there'll be duplicates because obviously we're having a lot of vegetables this week. But I'll still write it down and then I'll just tick it off that I I need it kind of thing. So this is how I kind of plan. So I'm not wasting food. Um, I know exactly what I've got um, in the cupboard and also it keeps the cost um, down as well. I'll show you how I gather things up to see if I've got enough. And I do this mostly every Thursday um, because... Um, we sometimes go to Aldi on a Friday. It's mainly a Friday. It depending on what how we can fit it in during like the kids' schedules and stuff because at the weekend they're quite busy. Um, but I think it'll be Friday, um, which is tomorrow when we go to do our Aldi shop. So um, let's show you how I do it. So the first one is the chicken gammon and top hat pie. So. As you can see, I've wrote down what I need. So I need chicken and a white sauce in a tin, uh, a gammon joint, which are going to be leftovers because we're going to have the gammon first, but this is the leftovers. I need a tin of mushroom soup, puff pastry, carrots and broccoli. So I've looked at the cupboards in the fridge and I've got a tin of the white chicken and white sauce, which is one tin on Slimming World. And I've also got a gammon joint all ready. So um, I tick them off and then the remainder ones I add to my list. Um, so I always section it off just so it's easier to when I go shopping. Um, so I've got the carrots, the broccoli, the puff pastry, um, brown sauces because the husband has said that there's no brown sauce so this was already added. added. Anyway then I've got mushroom soup um, and that's what I need for the first one. So this is for the gammon vegetables and Yorkshire pud. So I've got stuffing, I've got gravy, and also I've got the gammon joint. So for this, I need carrots and broccoli, which are already on my list from previous. And I've got potatoes to make into some Slimming Wolf friendly roast potatoes. Um, then I have put the Yorkshire puds down. Um, I like Aldi's frozen puds, they're quite low in sins. So the next meal is cheeseburger pasta and garlic bread, and I'll be having mine with a salad. So for um, the ingredients, I need mince, grated cheese, beef stock, passata, tomato puree, mustard powder, uh, frozen onion, um, tomato ketchup, and then the garlic bread, and also there will be a bag of salad. Um, so um, I've had a look and got all the ingredients together, and what I've realised, whilst I went in the freezer to get the frozen onions out, I realised that I have got a bag of mixed veg which needs eating, which will be, um, so I've crossed out the carrots because the mixed veg has got carrots, peas, broccoli, and all that jazz in it, so I've crossed that out. And then I've also got a bag of... Um, broccoli for uh, forets is that how you say it a bag of frozen broccoli um which will be perfect for the um pie so um yeah i just forget sometimes doing this really helps because i just forget what's in the freezer um so yeah i've saved some i've saved some pennies there so um there's only a couple of main ingredients i need from this i need some more pasta i need um, the mint and i need some passata 
So in here is my pasta, but I class this as like my emergency pasta. So I haven't got any other pasta apart from this. Um, so if we needed a quick pasta dish or anything like that, I've, al I've al always got pasta in. Um, the cheeseburger pasta is better with the Fusely pasta because the mint sticks to it. It makes it more flavoursome, better than the penne, penne, penne pasta. So I need to get some more um, Fusely pasta. Um, so then I need tomato puree which I've got so then I've got a block of red Leicester cheese um which it just saves me buying some lighter cheese um I'll just calculate the sins accordingly I think you can have some uh, 30 grams of this is a healthy extra a um and I'll just grate it myself just to save some money so I've got the cheese I've got the mustard powder now this is better with the squeezy mustard um powder uh, must the squeezy mustard but I haven't been I haven't got it in and um so I've just been using the Coleman's mustard powder and it's worked fine um and then it's got some ketchup which I've got so I need some mint passata and some fusely pasta um so I've added the mints I've added the passata I need to add the pasta to it as well I've got the garlic bread which ID just means I need to get the reduced one um so yeah um I just need to add the pasta to this. So I found some Fusely pasta. The hubster must have been using this and put it in the wrong place. So as I was um, putting something away, I've just found it. So Fusely pasta can be knocked off the list now um, because that is just enough. Um, you need 500 grams and that looks like there's um, more than I need for the dish. So for the next meal, I've got sausage, mash, veg and gravy. So, um, the potatoes I've already added to my list previously. Um, the carrots and broccoli, I've got mixed um, veg, but I've put a bag of frozen veg down because I would have already eaten the um, frozen mixed veg um, from here, so I can just replem it back in. So I've got a bag of frozen veg down. I've got the Yorkshire puds down because the, previously I've got some down, and the, the, there's a I think it's a bag of 12, so that's going to do us fine. Um, I've got stuffing down because um, I had a new stuffing previously for another um, meal, so another um, box of stuffing is needed. But everything else I've already got. I've got the um, gravy and stuff, so I just need. Need, uh, the light sausages I just need to get like skinny sausages which are low in sins the next meal is pita pizzas wedges and corn on the cob so I need wholemeal pitas I need some ham also the ha the hubsters having ham and pickle sandwiches this week so the ham um, will be used for lunches and also for this meal tomato puree as you've seen I've already got mushrooms I'll need as well and also the remaining mushrooms which I don't use for this meal will be used for like breakfasts and um, the cheese I've already got as you've seen I've got a block of cheese which which is you know more than enough to make, to do this and um, potatoes I need some to make into wedges so what I've done is put two jacket potatoes down um, I think like 23p and two good size ones will make enough wedges for us all as well um, because the bag of potatoes will be used for um, roast potatoes through um, the week and also as well um, to make the mash so I just need two jacket potatoes to make some good size wedges corn on the cob um, and then I got a bag of salad which I'll need throughout the week and um, so I've just added that on because I need it for an evening meal and then I've just quickly put pepperoni down um, because I think the hubster would like some pepperoni on his pizzas and um, we'll be all right with the remainder so pepperonis are down the hams down and that is the only things I need to make my five main meals and um, so I'm quite happy so this is my Aldi haul. There is literally two things missing off my list which I needed. That was Yorkshire puddings and corn on the cob. But I can call the local heron and pick them up. They're not a problem, but they weren't in stock um, today, so I couldn't get them. One of the items is extra, and that is the 3% um, lean mint, uh, because it's hardly ever in stock at my local Aldi, so while I saw it, I was like, I'm having it, um, and then I can freeze it, but I think I've been using it. So this is the meal plan this week. So tonight, which is Saturday, is going to be sausage, mash, um, stuffing, gravy um, for tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a slow cooker fante gammon with all the trimmings, the, the veg and everything like that. The leftover gammon will be used for Monday, which I'm going to be making the chicken top hat pie. Tuesday is pancake day and I don't know about you, but we just like having pancakes on pancake day. 
nothing else um, so I think I'm going to be sinning some pancakes for that day and I'm going to have it with fruit then Wednesday um, is going to be cheeseburger pasta Thursday is going to be pita pizzas with wedges and salad um, and then on Friday it's going to be taco mints um, with some Dorito not Dorito, like Dorito chips, but like tortilla chips kind of thing with it. So I'm planned up till Friday because it looks like we'll be going to Aldi on either Saturday or Sunday. So I'm all planned up. This week's shopping is £54.38. So in another vlog, there's going to be all my evening meals, which I've used from this, and also my lunches as well. Um, just to show you what I've of news with this and I think this is something which if you like I'm going to keep going forward because I've really really enjoyed it so without further ado let's spin you around and show you what I got this week in Aldi 58.73 sorry there you go that's the receipt um so this is the good stuff so I've got a big bag of wonky um, potatoes to make roast potatoes and also the mash then I got some good sized potatoes to make some good quality wedges with. I got a leaf, a mixed leaf salad, which is all speed food. Potatoes are free on Summy World. I got some loose bananas, um, which are free food. I got some wonky blueberries and some strawberries. They're classed as speed food. And then I also got a bag of the mini apples, which are also speed food. Some mushrooms, which are going to be for breakfasts and also for my top of my um, pizzas, um, pita pizzas this week. Got some of the split pots um, for the Hubsters pat lunches. I got the blackberry and raspberry and the red cherry ones. This is the 3% fat mint, which is completely sin free on Summing World. And then I got some skinny sausages. I can't remember the sins of these, but I know they're quite low for what they are. Um, so we're going to have them tonight. And then I got some ham, which is going to be used for the Hubsters um, pack lunch. It's going to have ham and pickle this week um, and also um, beetroot sandwiches which I've also got in the fridge so that's these like two like sandwiches this week I got some passata some gherkins which I absolutely love it these are speed food um, a tin of mushroom soup now this will have quite high sins attached to it but when you portion it up and it doesn't it's not a lot really so I've got that because that with the chicken and a white sauce which I've already got is going to make the top hat pie we ran out of brown sauce so I've just replayed that I've got some um, cereal which is the harvest morn fruit wheat apricot I have got two wheat bix left in the cupboard for me so I'm going to have that them that week to get rid of them and then these are to replen that um, I really like these these um, is a healthy extra B on summer world all sinage and grammage will be on the screens for you I got some puff pastry once again this will have high sins attached to it but when you divide it up between us it's not much and it's really nice to have a nice pie with lots of veg. Then I got some of the reduced um, fat garlic slices to go with the um, cheeseburger pasta this week. Then I got some sausage rolls for the Hubsters pack up and for Max to snack on, he, he loves them. Then we got some of Aldi's version of Nutella. I refuse to pay like five pound for the jar of it. It's just extortionate. This is a really good dupe of it. Um, so that is for pancakes and Max doesn't mind that having that on toast in the morning. Then I got these um, like cup shots Grace really really likes these so this is a quick lunch for her um, yeah on something all these three and a half sins some instant noodles some of the stuffing I've already got one packet of stuffing for tonight's meal and this is when we have the gammon I ran out of coffee got some mango smoothie for Grace she absolutely loves this stuff I got the orange zero sugar to make the Fanta gammon with I've really like zoned in on the crisps I was buying crisps um, just by looking at the price really and seeing what was the be a better deal and realising that some of the crisps just get left over because they're not everyone's favourite so these are the Hubsters and Max's favourite crisps which are the Bacon Sizzlers, Flame Grilled Steak and Thai Chicken um, so I got them and then Grace's favourite is the Prawn um, Cocktail so I'm just sticking with what 
everyone likes so there's no like waste or anything like that max absolutely loves cheese and crackers so i got him some of these savory crackers and um, these are like the ritz version so he likes them and some normal cre um, cream crackers he likes watching this when um saturday football's on or sunday football he likes like having cheese and crackers with a cup of tea my little old man eh? and slice white bread for the family so that'll be toast that'll be um chris's sandwiches and then i got some chunky um chocolate bars um for um, the pack up and also to fill up the chocolate tin with this week and then as it's the weekend these are a treat for the children which are a cinnamon bun and then um the chocolate crepes which max likes having then i got some emergency pancakes because it's pancake day on tuesday and just in case pancakes don't work out at least the kids can have some pancakes so these are the emergency pancakes just in case the ones i, I make are uh, turn out absolutely horrendous then i got the soft pita um the soft pita breads these are the wholemeal ones so one of these is a healthy extra b and this is going to make the pita pizzas this week with the wedges a big bag of crunch fruit vegetable mix uh, these are a staple in our house these are the chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches and then i got some bottled water these were the two extra little gifts which are the milk chocolate gonks uh, which are the easter version these just to put away for the kids easter little gifts toilet roll kitchen roll and then some of the um, washing tablets so like i said next week the weekend will be everything i have used from this shop um, with my lunches and also my evening meals so I look forward to that vlog so I hope you've enjoyed this style of vlogging and if you do like it please let me know in the comments down below and if there's something you want to see more of how I meal plan how I get everything together then I'm more than welcome to do this again so as always send a huge positive thought see you soon bye